Hi dancers, it's Miss Elizabeth with North Point Ballet and I'm super excited to be able to offer you some dance classes with me on video. Um, so I am going to give you your dance class just like we would be having at JDB. Um, it, but with this time, we are going to be having it live from my garage. <laughs> it's really, really cold out, so I am wearing an ear warmer and some leg warmers today. But I'm really excited to do some ballet with you. So I'm going to ask you to make sure that you are wearing something really, really nice to move in. Whether it's your dance clothes that you come and dance in when you come with me into JDB. Or if you're just wearing some leggings and a t-shirt. And I also want you to make sure that as you look around your room that you're dancing in to make sure there's nothing you can trip over. So make sure you have a lot of room to move. That way you don't hurt yourself or bump into something or trip over something. So make sure it's nice and clear. So you see that I've got everything cleared out for me to dance in my garage out here in the cold, wet rain, but we're gonna do some fun ballet. So we are gonna get started with going over our three things that we have to do when we're in dance class. Let's see if you guys remember our team chant. So what are the three things that we do? We have to work hard because when we work hard, that was, means that we get better at everything that we do. And then we also work, so we work hard, we do our best, which means that we do everything to the best of our ability so that when we um, do something, we can get better at it every single time. And then that we're also being respectful to our teachers and then to ourselves and to everyone we take dance class with. And then the third thing is we never give up because when we never give up, that means that we get better and better at doing things that are hard. And when we get doing, we are, when we get better at doing things that are really hard, that means that everything is going to be easier when we do it. So let's do our team chant. I want you to repeat after me. Ready? Hiya! Five, six, seven, eight. Do our best. Never give up. Work hard. And then we clap our thighs. Team. All right. Excellent. Let's try that again. You ready? And hi-ya. Five, six, seven, eight. Do your best. Never give up. Work hard. Team. Excellent dancers. All right. So now we are going to do our best and do some ballet. We're going to work really hard so that we get nice and sweaty and we're never going to give up even when something's really tricky. So first what we're going to start with is our mirror game. So I want everybody to stand with your feet together, hands on your hips, and you are standing with excellence. That means you're going to be standing up really tall and you're not going to be slumping like this and be like, oh, blah, blah, right? We're going to be standing up nice and tall and ready to go. So I want you to follow me as we begin our ballet warm-up. I'm going to start our music. And follow me.
All right, so let's talk about some of the things that we just did. The first thing that we worked on was our plies. Can anybody remember what our language is that I'm speaking in when I give our um, ballet terms? What language is it? It's French. All right, so that means that all of my, my ballet words came from France. So plie means to bend because I'm bending my knees. That's right, so this is called a demi-plie. It means a really small bend. Now when we went to second position with our feet apart, I did a grand plie, which means I went really deep into that. Okay, so grand plie means big bend. It means really, really big. So when we were in first position, we did a small bend, small bend, and then we went relevé. Relevé means to rise. It's like we're pretending we're a hot air balloon. We're rising up into the sky. We did that relevé in second position too, and we did it in third position. Now, we also did some beautiful movement here with our arms. That's called a port de bras. And we talked about how when we when we went with our shoulders up like this, remember when Miss Elizabeth did that? Yeah, it looks pretty ridiculous, right? Because look, it looks like my neck disappeared. Where did Miss Elizabeth's neck go? Uh oh, it's because my shoulders were up to my ears. So I'm wearing some big long earrings today, so I wanna pretend that when I'm bringing my arms up, I don't wanna squish my earrings like this with my shoulders. So when you lift your arms up, try to make sure that your neck stays nice and long. And then when I open it, my neck is still nice and long. Let's try that again. So everybody do it wrong with me. We'll lift up your shoulders. Uh-oh, now press them down. Excellent, all right. Now you guys get to be the teacher. I'm gonna do something wrong, and I want you to see if you can think of what it is I'm doing wrong, okay? So here's the first thing that I'm gonna do wrong. You ready? What is Miss Elizabeth doing wrong? <laughs> That's right, Miss Elizabeth's tushy sticking out. Oh, I wanna tuck that tushy in so that when I'm doing my plies, when I'm bending my knees, my tushy stays down instead of going out like I have tail feathers. All right, very good. All right, I'm gonna do another one. What is Miss Elizabeth doing wrong? Something's wrong with my feet. My toes weren't turned out. So when I'm standing in second position, my toes can't be forward. I need to make sure my heels can be seen. Very good, all right, I'm gonna do one more. This one's a little tricky. What's Miss Elizabeth doing wrong? Ooh, very good. This is third position and my toe needs to be going out to the side. Very good. All right, dancers, we're gonna go ahead and do our tendus next. So tendu means to stretch because we are now gonna wake up our toes. They're gonna get ready to dance. So we're gonna stretch our right foot forward first and we're gonna make sure this knee stays straight. So we're gonna pretend this is a collar pound. So we're gonna stretch our toe forward. Then you're gonna relax your toes and bring your heel in. And then you're gonna present your heel forward again. We're gonna pretend like there's star stickers on our heel. Okay, so there's a star sticker right there. We're gonna present that heel forward. You're gonna squish a bug, and I want you to squeeze that leg in without bending your knees. Squeeze it in. Again, we're gonna try it to the side. Tendu, and close it straight. Then tendu, squish, so that both knees are straight. And then we're gonna keep those knees straight as we bring it in. And we're gonna do the same thing to the back. Tendu, and squeeze it in. Tendu, and squish. Bring it in, and then we'll do the left foot. All right, here we go. Starting from first position, standing with excellence.
and lift your chin up. Excellent job, dancers. All right, the next exercise we're gonna do is our degages. So degage means to disengage, which basically means to leave the floor. So our foot is gonna leave the floor just a little bit. So like our little mouse runs underneath our foot, okay? So we're gonna do two degages. Out and in and out and in. Then you're gonna do two PKs, which means to prick. We're gonna pretend like we're Sleeping Beauty and when she pricks her finger, ouch! She picks it up really fast. So if you, if this was my spindle and I pricked my finger, I wouldn't stay there being like, hmm, I wonder what's hurting. I would be, ouch, 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 I barely touch it. So I want you to pretend that your toe is pricking something. And a prick, prick, and close. And a prick, prick, and close. Then we're gonna go to the side. Slowly out and slowly in and slowly out and slowly in. Prick, prick, and close. And prick, prick, and close. Then we're gonna do the other foot to the front and then to the side. We're gonna try that with music, keeping our legs super, super straight as we do our degages so that they don't come in and we bend it like this. Mm-mm. Gonna suck that knee up really, really tight as we close and point our toes and showing our heels. Here we go. First position. Now you get to be the teacher. You get to fix me in my tendus and my dagoches. Okay, so I'm gonna do something wrong and you're gonna see if you can figure out how to fix it. Are you ready? What's wrong with me? Uh-huh. I'm not standing up straight, am I? I gotta bend this knee in. Just like that. So when I dagoche, I come in and I wanna... Everybody try that with me. Ready? Take it out and be lazy about it. Remember, we have to do our best, okay? So we're going to do our best to keep that knee straight. Just like that. And we're going to do our best to keep our knee straight. <gasps> Same thing with tondu. When we tondu, we don't want to bend our knee. Uh-uh. We want to keep that knee nice and straight like it's our colored pencil. Because we don't want to snap and have colored pencil. That would be terrible. That would be so sad. We want to keep our colored pencils nice and straight. Okay, I'm going to do something else. What is wrong? Uh-huh. Where's my heel? There it is. I want to make sure my heel is forward. Same thing to the side. Uh-oh, where's my heel? There it is. And then when I tondu to the back, same thing. I want to still be able to see that heel back there. I don't want it to be hidden like this. Okay, I want to show your heel, and then when you bring that tondu in, my heel comes in. Now my heel is in. Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to do one more thing that is wrong. What is wrong? That's right. My thumbs are sticking out. Can you pretend to blow out your candles? There you go. All right, so when we hold our arms out, or in front, we want to make sure these thumbs are sticking up. When we lift our arms above our head, it looks like I'm holding two cheeseburgers. Look at that. I want to tuck those thumbs in as I keep my arms up. Excellent. All right. Good job. All right, dancers, the next thing we're going to do is our rond de jambes, which means circle of the leg. We're going to be circling our leg on the floor. So standing with excellence. With our hands and our hips, you're going to present that heel forward in that beautiful tondu we practiced. You're going to slide that foot to the side and then pull it into first. And then try that again. So it's a half of circle. Front, side, and first position. Then you're going to go to the back. To the back, side, 
and first position in the back side first position good then you're gonna bring this foot up to pop coupe and then you're gonna drag it up to passe and we're gonna balance and then pull it down to first position other side okay so we're gonna try to do all of that with excellence all right because what are some of the hard things that we have to do I want you to repeat after me core strength flexibility balance endurance endurance good job all right so one of the things we have to practice in our passe is our balance all righty here we go we're gonna try our round of jumps standing with excellence hands on hips round of jump sure that in that arabesque your chest is lifted really nice and tall so you don't want to drop forward like this okay so hands in front of your nose extend that leg back there make sure it's not bent straighten it up and then we'll go across the floor and then when we get to the other side we'll turn around and we'll do the same thing with the left foot here we go Right foot in front. Bore one, two, three, and four. Arabas. Hold. Six. Down seven. Finish your bore. One. Touching at the ankle 
and it's not going up too high, okay? So we're all the way to the ankle. We're gonna do our coupe marches. Starting from this side of the room. across the floor is called a developé. This is a new step, okay? So developé means to grow. So we're gonna make our legs grow, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on this side and we are going to put our hands on our hips for this one. You're gonna draw your leg up. I want you to pretend like your leg is a Sharpie, okay? Your Sharpie is drawing the line up your leg to the knee. You don't wanna go up higher than your knee, okay? So make sure your toe is touching just your knee. Then you're gonna extend that leg forward so it's nice and straight, not bent, and then you're gonna step on it. Okay, then you're gonna pick up the other leg. Draw a leg up your knee, extend it forward, keeping that toe pointed, and step on it. Now it's very important that both of our legs stay straight so that when I'm drawing this leg up, I'm not bending this one. Okay, so keep that knee nice and straight. So you draw this up, extend, step on the foot. And one, two, three, four, all right? It's kind of like walking like a flamingo. Yeah, you know how like a flamingo picks up its legs and it walks like that? That's what I want you to think about. But keep those legs nice and extended. And this is gonna be kind of slow so we can practice our balance and our core strength. Okay, here we are. All right, starting on this side of the room. Hands on hips. Develop it. One and two and up for three, four and up. Two and three, four and one, two, other leg, three, four. Good. All right, we're going to try going back this way. Stand nice and tall, pointing your toes, chest up and lift it. One, two, don't look at the floor. Everything was nice and straight and the chest was lifted. Good job. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is chene. So chene is our little turns. It means a chain, okay? So a chene is like making a little chain all the way across. We can pretend we're making a chain of roses. Okay, so we're planting a little chain of roses all the way across the stage. So I want you to think about your feet being in first position the whole time. Okay, so we're gonna start with our arm like this, curved in front of you, and your other arm out to the side. Your foot is in tendu to the front, and you're gonna take three steps. So it's a three-step turn, only three steps, ready? So you're gonna go one, two, three. And when we finish, you're gonna finish with first position. Now, as I turn, I'm gonna bring this arm in, just like that, all right? So this arm is already round, and I'm gonna bring the other hand in as I turn. All right, so let's watch that again. Foot starts to the front, and three steps, turn. One, two, three. I land in first position. Let's try again. One, two, three. So I'm bringing that arm in for like a hug, like I'm hugging a beach ball. All right, so I turn one, two, three, and I land in first position every single time. So that way, it's a beautiful picture that so that at any moment, I can take a photograph and you look absolutely beautiful in all your beautiful positions in your ballet technique. All right, so we're gonna try this with some music. Chene, turn. Try 
try the left side now. So now you're gonna left round, other arm, shun it, turn, two, three, extend the arm, tendu, and turn, two, three, extend the arm, tendu, and turn, two, three. And a nice, beautiful finish. Excellent job, dancers. All right, next we're gonna do a jump. So this one is called pas de chat. So you're gonna start in first position, hands on hips. You're gonna pick this, the right leg up to passe, making sure your toe is pointed. You're gonna jump, pick up the other foot and put it down. Pretend like you're jumping over a little baby kitten. So there's a little baby kitten right there and you don't wanna step on him. So you're gonna pick up the right foot, jump over him, pick up the other foot and put it down to first position. <gasps> Not here. Not here. Okay, so first position. So you pick up your foot. <gasps> pa de sha. Right foot, left foot. And it's very important that you put both feet down in first position every single time you do it. So we're going to try this with music. Pa de sha, step of the cat. Starting from this side. This is your guys' favorite part of class. This is when we're going to do our big jumps, okay? So hopefully you have a little bit more room than I do for our big jumps. But even if you don't have a whole lot of room, that's okay. We can still practice trying to get up as high as we can and splitting our legs out to the side, okay? So this is called a soda shot. It's a big leap. So you're going to start with first position arms. You're going to tendu your right foot forward. And then I want you to do your big runs, okay? I can't run very far. Okay, you're gonna run, run, and then when you get to the center, you're gonna do a big jump. So you're gonna extend your right leg up, up, down. That's my slow motion jump, okay? So your arms are gonna be here, like this. You're gonna extend this leg, just like that. Actually, we practiced that across the floor earlier, didn't we? When we went like this. Does anybody remember what that was called? It's called a develop, hey to grow. So we're going to make our leg grow in the air and it's going to lift us up and we're going to kick that leg back there in the arabesque like we did earlier as well. We practiced our arabesques. Okay, so now we're going to put together our developing and our arabesque at the same time and we're going to explode in the air with our arms beautifully and we're going to smile at the audience. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks like. You start with your right foot forward. You're going to run, run, jump. All right. And then we'll try it from the other side. So you're going to start with your left foot forward. Run, run, jump. All right? So we're going to give this a try. We're going to try to practice jumping up as high as you can and exploding those legs out to the side. All right, your arms are in first position. And on to your right foot. Chin up, six, seven, eight, and a run, 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 up. All right, we're going to try the other side with the left leg. All right, now it's your turn. 
jab, you guys. Try the other side. Here we go. And run, run, run. Up. Use your arms. Okay, now this time give me a big smile. I'm watching for it. And run. Smile at me. Good job. All right, try the other side. Beautiful preparation. Run, run, run. Explode. Smile at me. Good job. Make sure those legs were nice and straight when you did your jump. Good job. dancers we are going to start working on our ballet dance that we started learning okay so we're going to go over and do a review of everything that we learned so far so remember we are ravens from the Wizard of Oz okay so we're gonna start with our feet together in first position and our arms out down over our side we're gonna hold for two eight counts so one two three four five six seven eight two two three four five six seven eight then you're gonna flap your arms up up two and down two then you're going to tongue do one and close first and two and close first so again up two and down two and tongue do close and tongue do close okay so that's the first part then you are going to do little baby steps in place we're going to do a bore in first position and your arms are going to go up two and down two and up two and down two okay and I want you to try to use your head when we do those flaps too. So look up and down and up and down. So when we do those flaps, your elbows will bend. All right? So we first go hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up, two, and down, two, and time. You close your hands are flexed and up. Two and down, two, and time. You close and time. You close, bure. Two down, three, four, bure. Six down, seven, eight. All right, we're gonna try just that much with music. Thank you. 
Nice job. All right, dancers, we're gonna try all of that one more time and then I'm gonna add a little bit more. First position, I'm gonna turn around this time. You ready? some of our things that we talked about when we were having class together. So we were talking about the different parts of the ballet class. So there are a lot of different parts and we talked about a lot of them. First we talked about our ballet bar work and then we talked about our center work which means we do things in the center and then we also talked about our um, going across the floor and our next part that we're going to talk about is reverence. So reverence is the last part of class, which you and I will do after we are done talking. And I'm writing it down here. Reverence. Now reverence means um, basically your thank you, you're cooling down at the end of class, you're breathing because you've been working so hard. So this is a time that you're able to get yourself to calm down and to rest before you leave the class. It's also a time that you're able to thank your dance teacher. That's why we do curtsies in reverence. And then also to thank the people that you danced with. So there are the different things we do in reverence. We're gonna kind of go through those. Um, the first one is a curtsy. Um, and a curtsy, I'm gonna teach you how to do. So I'm gonna move my chair here. I'm gonna show you how to do a curtsy. So, Put your right foot behind you and make sure your knees are together. And you're going to put your hands on, you're gonna put your arms out as if you have a beautiful ball gown on. And you bend both knees and you tip your head just a little bit down. So you don't wanna draw off your whole body like this. You just want your chin to go down a little bit. Curtsy. Let's try the other foot, okay? So you put your 
left foot behind, your knees are crossed, and curtsy. Let's try again, other foot behind, and curtsy. I'm gonna turn around, so you watch me. Curtsy, and other foot, curtsy. Awesome, so that is your curtsy. Um, the second thing we usually do in reverence to get ourselves to cool down is we plie. So we do lots of plies. Sometimes you'll do plies in first. Sometimes you'll do a plie in second position. Sometimes you'll do a big stretch like this at the end of class to get our muscles to loosen up. Um, and then for the gentlemen, when the gentlemen dance, that's the curtsies are for the girls. A gentleman will put her, his hand behind his back and a hand in front, and he'd be in first position and he would bow. Or he could be in third position and he can bow. So that's for the gentleman. So we bow. The other thing we do is one of my favorites. Sometimes we cambre, which is a big stretch forward. So everybody put your arms out to the side, keep your knees straight, and you're gonna stretch forward, keeping those knees straight, and come up. That's a cambre. Sometimes we'll even cambre to the side, which is to bend to the side. So you'll do bending like that. A lot of times also we'll do some tendus. So you'll tendu to change a position, tendu and close. So those are some of the steps that we do in reverence. And we'll do some of those at the end of class today together. Now, the Spanish words that describe what we are doing in reverence are, what is the Spanish word do you think for, hang on a second, uh, cooling down, cooling down. So that is something that we is very important. I'm writing this down for our reverence because when we're done at the end of dance class, a lot of times we're really hot and sweaty. So I know I get very hot and sweaty when I work and dance really hard. So when we cool down, it means for our body temperature to go down. So our Spanish word is N, oh, I spelled that wrong. I added a letter. Hang on. Here we go. Enfriamiento. Can you say that with me? Enfriamiento. So enfriamiento means cooling down. That's a very, very important part of class because we get so hot and sweaty when we dance. How about, what is the word in Spanish for breathing? Because when we're done with class, sometimes we're breathing really, really hard. <gasps> because we're really tired and we worked really hard. So it's very important for us to make sure we take deep breaths at the end of class. So what is the Spanish word for breathing? Respiración. Can you say that with me? It's a tricky one. Respiración. Say that again. Respiración. That means breathing. So it means to breathe. All right. Third thing that we do in reverence that's very important is, is something that you guys should know, I would think, um, is thank you. How do you say thank you in Spanish? I bet you guys all know this one. That's right. Gracias. Gracias. So we thank our dance teachers. That's why we bow or curtsy at the end of reverence. That's our thank you for the teachers giving us a class. It's also our thank you to dancing with all of our friends in class. So let's go through these again. Enfriamiento means to cool down. Respiración means to breathe. And gracias, thank you. So those are the three things that we work on really hard in reverence. All right, dancers, now we get to do a reverence. So we're gonna breathe, we're gonna cool down and say thank you for dancing.
turn around, follow me. dancers. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Thank you for joining me for dance class. I miss you guys so much. Miss dancing with you for real. I wish you were all with me in my garage right now. Um, but I really thank you for joining me on video and I hope you keep practicing your dance steps at home to dance. It makes you feel so much better. I know I always feel better when I'm done dancing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And you will be seeing another video coming out soon. So make sure you tune in when I give you another dance class. Thank you guys, bye-bye, adios.